Today's drug is Velsartan, brand name Diavan. The therapeutic category is that it's an angiotensin II receptor blocker, or ARB for short. It is also known as an antihypertensive agent. Dosage form and strength. Valsartan comes in a tablet at a 40, 80, 160, and 320 mg strength. There are several indications. The first is for heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. Valsartan is used in NYHA class 2 through 4 heart failure treatment. The next indication is for hypertension. Valsartan is used in treating and managing hypertension. The next indication is for post-myocardial infarction. Valsartan reduces mortality in patients with left ventricular failure or dysfunction after myocardial infarction, such as ST elevation MI, also known as STEMI, or non-ST elevation MI, also known as NSTEMI. An off-label use is in non-diabetic or diabetic proteinuric chronic kidney disease. Dosing by indications. When treating adults with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, initiate between 20 and 40 mg by mouth twice daily. Dose is increased every 1 to 2 weeks up to 160 mg twice daily. If the patient is hospitalized and monitored, titration may occur every 1 to 2 days instead of every 1 to 2 weeks. When treating adults with hypertension, the first thing to note is that this medication is used in patients that have a blood pressure greater than 20 over 10 mg of mercury above goal or poor response to monotherapy. The medication can be used with a thiazide diuretic or a long-acting dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker. When treating hypertension in adults, initiate between 80 and 160 mg by mouth every day with dose adjustments every 4 to 6 weeks with a max dose of 320 mg every day. When treating adults with post-myocardial infarction, the first thing to note is that an ARB is in addition to an antiplatelet agent, beta blocker, and statin, or whatever the doctor deems as appropriate for the patient's medical regimen. When treating NSTEMI, initiate 20 mg twice daily, may increase up to 160 mg twice a day, but monitor to avoid hypotension. When treating STEMI, initiate 20 mg by mouth twice daily, may increase up to 160 mg twice a day, but monitor to avoid hypotension risk. For an off-label indication, the dosing in non-diabetic or diabetic proteinuric chronic kidney disease, initiate between 40 and 80 mg by mouth twice a day, may titrate up to 160 mg twice a day based on the patient's blood pressure with a target based on the blood pressure goal and proteinuria goal, which is typically less than 1 gram per day. When treating hypertension in the pediatric population, there is limited data, so consult the most recent literature. In patients between 6 months to less than 6 years of age, weighing around 6 kilograms up to 40 kilograms, the dosing range for compounded suspension is 0.25 to 4 milligrams per kilogram per dose every day. For ages between 6 and 16 years of age, the dosing range for oral solution or the compounded suspension is 0.65 mg per kilogram per dose twice daily with a max dose of 40 mg per day. The max dose is 1.35 mg per kilogram per dose twice daily with a max daily dose of 160 mg a day. If it is the tablet being used in this pediatric age range of 6 years and 16 years of age, initiate at 1.3 mg per kilogram given once daily with a max initiation dose of 40 mg per day. The max dose of 2.7 mg per kilogram per dose every day or max daily dose of 160 mg per day. 
in adolescence greater than or equal to 17 years of age, the oral solution is initiated between 40 and 80 milligrams by mouth twice a day, up to a max daily dose of 320 milligrams per day. If the tablet is initiated, the range is between 80 and 160 milligrams by mouth twice daily, up to a max daily dose of 320 milligrams per day. Mechanism of Action and Pharmacology Valsartan is an angiotensin II receptor antagonist that displaces the AT2 from the AT1 receptor. It acts directly on the pathway, causing vasoconstriction along with water intake, as well as causing the release of aldosterone, catecholamines, and arginine vasopressin. It is proposed that ARBs are more efficient than ACEs and have less side effects. Velsartan is metabolized to an active metabolite. 83% of the drug is excreted fecally and 13% through the urine as the unchanged drug. The onset of action is around 2 hours. The time to peak in adults is between 2 to 4 hours as the tablet and 0.7 to 3.7 hours as the solution. In children between the ages of 1 and 6 years of age, the oral suspension reaches its peak effect around 2 hours. The duration of action is approximately 24 hours. The elimination half-life in adults is around 6 hours and increases by 35% in elderly. In children between the ages of 1 and 16 years of age, the elimination half-life is around 4 to 5 hours. Valsartan is 95% protein bound. Special populations and considerations. In the elderly, the AUC is 70% higher and the half-life is 35% longer. In patients with hepatic impairment, the AUC is twice as concentrated in patients with mild to moderate chronic liver disease. When comparing the solution and the tablet, Solution, even those compounded from tablets, have greater bioavailability than the tablet. And a general caution is that ARBs appear to have a lower risk of angioedema, but caution in patients with a history of angioedema. Also, hyperkalemia and hypotension may occur. Side effects. The common side effects are dizziness, lightheadedness, and orthostatic hypotension. Some other side effects are diarrhea, abdominal pain, and nausea. Valsartan does have a black box warning for fetal toxicity. Drugs that affect the renin-angiotensin system can cause injury and death to the fetus. Drug interactions. Some of the general interactions are lithium, potassium-increasing drugs such as ACE inhibitors, birth control pills, cyclosporin and heparin, meds that affect blood pressure such as amphetamines which can increase the blood pressure, as well as cough and cold products, diet aids, and NSAIDs. Monitoring parameters. The first is blood pressure, a baseline as well as periodically, blood urea nitrogen, pregnancy, and an electrolyte panel. Patient counseling information. Valsartan is used to treat high blood pressure, heart failure, and heart function after a heart attack. The patient should be cautioned about dizziness and orthostatic hypotension, and the patient should avoid potassium-containing salt substitutes.